Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video of mine and it's a bit different from what I normally do, it's not a let's play, it's a town review. Now it's, it's more an overview than a full review but it's a free town and that's why I wanted to highlight it because I know that the sim store worlds can be quite expensive so to find free content is awesome, awesome, awesome and there's a site called mysimsrealty.com, I'll put a link below and it has amazing towns for free that you can go and download and put into your game. Now a few towns have been highlighted already on Iron Seagull's channel and they were like Ann Arbor, that's one of their towns and also Evansdale County I believe there's a couple that he's highlighted and what I'll do is I'll post a link to his channel below and go and check this out. He hasn't done this one and so far I don't think he's going to from what I've heard from his plans so I thought I would do it because this is one that I particularly like and it's one of their older ones. Um, it's called Meadow Glen. And this is a Meadow Glen updated and it does require some expansion packs but if you go to the site it will tell you exactly what expansion packs there is and I just love it because I think for a start it looks beautiful and it's got some really nice areas. It's not a city town, it's a country town and it's really really nice. You've got the main sort of towny area if you like and you've got loads of different kind of de designs of houses and then you've got a farming area over here as well which I really like the mixture because it gives you the options of what you want to do and if you had bought like Grandpa's Grove or something from the Sims 3 store it'd be amazing in this town. It would be really really good. So I thought I would show you a couple of lots that I really like and just an idea of the houses that my sims realty because they build all the houses as well and the houses are brilliant and they're decorated to such a degree that you can easily just move into them. It's not like you have to redecorate the whole thing like when you move into a Riverview house and you get random curtains that don't match the freaking bed sheets. You know these is really really good and you can just move in. It's brilliant. It's like a new build house. You can just move in, that's you. So I'm going to cut to a few different lots and show you why I love this town and I hope that you'll stick with me and enjoy. Okay so this is one of the examples of one of their starter homes which looks awesome, it looks so nice and if you just drop down the walls you'll see it's like one bedroom, it's got the bathroom, their kitchen, you know everything you need as a starter home with a good amount of space in it and it's just really well designed as well you know with the different textures on the outside, it's got like a porch, it's just really well built, it's not just like a square shack and then out here you've got, um, I take it this could be a laundry, it could be a workshop, you know it could be anything you really wanted but it's just a nice added touch I think and that's this is what I love it's just these those little bit extras the detail that goes into the houses the recycling you know it's just just love this town love it um so that's a kind of starter home so you've got other starter homes around about here as well that are all sort of unique in their own way and then you have the sort of mid-range home so you've got this one here which I like this one as well and it's four bedrooms three bathrooms I'm just going to click furnish just now just to let you see what I mean by this one so again, all built by them. I don't even know if it's one person or whether, you know, it's a few or if it's a team. If it's one person, it's phenomenal to be able to do all this and really. So this is like the top layer, the bottom layer of this house. I know people call them stories and levels, but I call them layers. I don't know why. Um, so you've got your sort of living area. You've got kitchen. It's kind of, no, that's a bathroom, Laura. <laughs> Yeah, there's a shower in the kitchen. <laughs> um, your kitchen, you've got a dining area, you've got a garage or a garage, whatever you want to say. And then you've got your four bedrooms, three bedrooms. I thought I said it was a four bedroom. Anyway, three bedrooms by the looks of things. I suppose you could convert this into a bed if you wanted. So yeah, so again, that's another one. And again, the detail is just gorgeous. And that one is like 62. So it's your mid-range house. It's when your Sims is getting up in the world type thing. Um, A really expensive house. Let's have a look for a really, really expensive house and see. Um, So here's one at 158,000 simoleons. So let's check this. And even that's not really mega expensive. Um, So... This one I like because it's completely different and it's really unique and I haven't really seen a house like this if you like, if you, a house like this if you like. 
so it's just loading up just now so hopefully it'll render I'm rendering a video in the background here so if it takes a little longer to to load the things you'll know why so you get a really nice view look at that look at that would that not be lovely to look out at so really kind of nice sofas you know I didn't even know I had that sofa and there you go um sort of table thing again really well designed thoughtfulness goes into the the decor and things like that so really nice and then up here as well honestly didn't think I had that couch I have to look in that but I'm getting distracted so one of the beauty of this town as well is the community lots so the community lots you might think oh it's a farming town so it doesn't have much it doesn't have any nightlife or whatever but it does and they've done something really clever they've actually hidden the nightlife underground so I'm going to plop my sim in and send her to the nightlife and cut back in and show you Okay, so before I take you to any of the nightlife spots, I wanted to give you an overview of the businesses and things like that that they include. So you have a dance club up here along with the Dirty Dixie and the Mirrored Moves and also the Touchdown Sports Bar across from the school, funnily enough. So <laughs> it's a bit of an odd placement to have three bars across from the school, but it is across from the stadium as well, which is mixed in with the school. So I can kind of see where the sports bar would come in. You've also got a few of the you've got the corner park cat jungle and also the dog run so pets is obviously needed for this one i know that this is the updated version i think they have an older version so if you don't have pets then there may be the previous version and then you've got this one which is what i was talking about so on the outside it just looks like a field of trees so but it's not and underneath is the Cranberry Exclusive, which I'll show you later on. You've got a campground and a playground up here, which is really, really nice. And you've got your usual, you've got the plum ball pictures back lot, so you could easily have the film career and things like that. So it's just really nicely done. You have the cinema, you get an empty shop there. So if you had the business, uh, what do you call it? The Midnight Hollow business set, you could easily open a business there. You've got your town hall, library, the gym, and there's another dance club, Disco Fever. And then Fuchsia Gardens is another one that's the same. It looks like it's a garden, but underneath it's a it's a dance club. And I really like it. I think it's unusual to do that. You've got your beach here as well. And you've got one of the dance clubs over here, the Mumaka or Mumaka? What how would you pronounce that? Mumaka Tavern. Um you've got over here your horse ranch. Do you know what? It's just got everything. And the good thing about it is it's got plenty of space for you to put your own stuff in. So your own store content. There's another nightclub there. Your own store content that you've got. This is a nice wee one as well, this part. This is like a campground that you can come to. And in my runaway teen, I came here to collect a lot of fruits and vegetables from this garden here. And also quite a lot of flowers. There's flower spawners here. So you can actually make um, quite a bit of money to come. And it's got this sort of campground. So you could have your sims going away for the weekend camping, you know, to here. And that would be really cool as well. So you've got quite a lot of options on what to do in this town. And like I say, you've got this dance club. So I'm going to send her... I'm going to send her to one of these dance clubs. I'm going to send her to the Cranberry exclusive. And no, I'm not because it's not freaking open. So that's that's awesome. Laura, that's well thought out. So <laughs> where, where else can I send her? They're not going to be open, are they? I'm going to have to fast forward this. Um, Yeah, so I'll fast forward and I'll come back to when they decide to open. And here is my sim and she is in the club and this is completely underground. I mean, how awesome is this? And it's got your professional bars. I know there's no one in it. I know that. But it is early. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but she's at the bubble bar. I think that comes with late night. So you might have to have late night for some of this stuff. Um, and maybe even showtime. According to story progression, love has blossomed between Taurus, whoever that is, and Anne-Marie Kearney. Oh, very nice. So, yeah, so that is just one of the clubs, and they're all pretty much well designed. You know, it's like, it's almost like secret, you know, it's almost like they're secret clubs in a way, which is really cool. And then you've got your strand consignment stores and, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I hope that you consider this town. To be honest, I think it's better than a lot of store worlds. 
not even going to, you know, sit there and lie. I do, I do. Although I love the store worlds and love the thought that goes into it, I think that this is just as good, if not better, than some of them. And uh, yeah, it's an awesome town and you should definitely, if you're looking for a new place to take your sims, then go and do it. You'll see more of the town in my Runaway Teen LP. If you've not seen that, please do check that out. I'll link that below as well. And I'll talk to you in my very next video. Bye, guys.